Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Guys, I am so excited to be doing this video. Today, I'm gonna be showing off my NECA horror collection here. So all this stuff ranges from movie props to action figures. All right, guys, the first thing I'm gonna be showing off is my Nightmare on Elm Street prop replica Freddy Krueger glove right here from NECA. This is honestly probably my most expensive NECA thing I got. It was like a hundred bucks. I got it at FYE in the mall and honestly it was worth it because I love this thing. Now I tried putting it on does not fit my hand whatsoever and it just turns out Robert England has got some pretty big hands. So I just use this for display and it does come with a mannequin hand right here with Nightmare on Elm Street logo right there for you to display this anywhere. Now you can wear it but it just doesn't fit me and I love the materials used to make this. This just it's amazing right here and this is the box box right here. Nice details. Freddy Krueger's face up close with the claw right there. The, the glove. I just love the design of the box. It says NECA. Well, that was upside down. It says NECA right there with New Line Cinema since I believe New Line Cinema is the one who's in control of Nightmare on Elm Street copyright property. And it does say this is not a toy. Right here is the price tag right at $100. Next up on the list is this NECA Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors action figure set with Freddy Krueger and honestly this is from my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie one of the most memorable ones his hat does come off nice fedora right there his hand is uh, interchangeable but I do not like messing with it uh, because it does come with a couple other hands I believe right there and one of my damn it one of my favorite pieces to this set is that it's got the uh, Freddy Krueger puppet right there from that one really awesome scene in the movie. It does also include the Elm Street Diorama House right here that you see the main girl from the uh, third movie uh, build in the beginning. I believe this action figure retails at 35 bucks. And here's some of the rest of the stuff because you can take the front of his shirt off and reveal all the souls he's got. Uh, here's a couple uh, hands for him. Ooh, he's even got another face. And this is just pretty cool. It even says, the last of the Elm Street kids are now at a psychiatric ward where Freddy haunts their dreams with unspeakable horrors. Their only hope is dream researcher and fellow survivor, Nancy Thompson, who helps them battle the supernatural psycho on his own hellish turf. Next up to play is a NECA action figure of Ghostface right here from Scream. He even has his Buck 120 knife right here and he comes with an interchangeable hand and a voice changer which I do not have at the moment and uh, the, the material of the robe is awesome. You can even take off the robe right up there and you even got that which I think is pretty cool. It even has fabric on the pants. That That's actually pretty cool. I do believe I got him at Target for like 35 bucks maybe 50. Not too sure can't remember. Next up is the Halloween 2018 Michael Myers NECA figure. I also got this one from Target for about the same price as the NECA Ghostface action figure because I got them the same day. Uh, he has fabric for the uh, jumpsuit right here, which is awesome, and the details on his mask are awesome. He also has a bloody knife right there, and he also does come with a hammer, which I have misplaced with also the ghost face accessories. So they're somewhere in my room, I just haven't found them in time for the video. Here he is. He and also ghost face are part of my desk toy collection. Another one I got that same day at Target for 50 bucks is the Ultimate Jig saw from saw awesome NECA figure keep him mint in the box because he is just too special to take out he's got two different heads reverse bear trap cassette player different hands he's even got that knife that he slashed the detective's throat in in the first movie he's got the billy puppet with the tricycle and the pig head and that iconic red robe which you could also tell is fabric this NECA figure right here I bought from my good friend General. Uh, this is a Chucky action figure set. The ultimate action figure for Chucky from all three Child's Play movies. You even got all the interchangeable faces including Pizza Face right there. And a bunch of knives, a gun, bat, a hammer, the voodoo knife, and the knife hand right there from Child's Play 2. Including the same very yardstick he beat the teacher to death in Child's Play 2. Right there, there's the back of the box. This is the Chucky ultimate action figure. I do also prefer to keep him pretty mint in the box right there. 
Here is another one I bought off Jenna. This is Bride of Chucky, Ultimate Chucky and Tiffany. However, it does say Bride of Chucky, but it does have some stuff in this set from Cena Chucky, like the little item right here that Chucky used to impregnate Jennifer Tilly. It's got interchangeable faces right here. Love all of this. It's got an ax, guns, knives, different arms, a shovel, an ax, a bottle of champagne, and the heart of Doom Bala right there with some extra hands. And I prefer to also keep this one mint in the box because this one is really special. And now for the grand finale, yet another Chucky figure I bought from General. This is from the Chucky TV series, which I thought season one and two were pretty good. And season three was good for the most part until the dog shit ending that came afterwards. This is awesome. You even got the part where uh, his face is burned off, kind of almost like the pizza face, but a lot more gory looking. He's even got the middle finger hand right there. Some needles he used to stab the doctor with, and of course, a kitchen knife. Not a lot compared to the other uh, Chucky figures I got, but this is still very cool. Even has amazing box work at the back. Okay guys, you have made it to the end of my video. This has been my NECA Horror Collection here, which is pretty impressive so far since I just started collecting this stuff and my collection is still gonna be growing. I hope to get the Evil Dead NECA figures in the future, but this has been the end of my video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy AB, out. Peace out, Rainbow Traps.